welcome to Healthy Tween Cuisine. I'm Savannah and today we're taking you down to the Big Easy. Yep, New Orleans. Because today we're making red beans and rice. But I'll show you how to do it with a healthy twist. So whether you want to get fit or maintain a healthy lifestyle, I'll show you how to do that without sacrificing any flavor. Now I'll show you the ingredients you will need to make your dish. These are the ingredients you will need. We're using three different types of beans today. Light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, and black beans. Some diced tomatoes, one with green pepper and onion, one with basil, garlic, and oregano. Some celery, garlic, onion, and a green bell pepper. Some Worcestershire sauce, some hot sauce, oregano, black pepper, olive oil, salt, and you will also need some chorizo sausage and some turkey sausage. Now, let's get started. As always, before touching or preparing any food, wash your hands with hot water and soap. First, we're going to chop our vegetables for the red beans and rice. So I'm using a green bell pepper today, and you want to dice this. And the way you do that is you cut down what's called the cheeks of the bell pepper. And see, so you're just cutting down the side like that. You want to try to cut around the seeds in the membrane too, which is this stuff in here. So you just slice down. And you do that for all four sides. If you do get some membrane, all you need to do is carefully slide your knife right under it and it should come off. Now I'm going to show you how to dice your bell pepper. What you want to do is have it skin side down and just make thin strips just like this. And it depends on how big how big of chunks you like. I personally don't like too big of chunks, so I'm going to have mine a little thinner. Then once you get your strips, you bunch them all together and you just Dice them into small squares like this. And be sure to have your fingers curled under. washed my celery and as with the bell pepper with any produce you want to wash it first before you use it so we're using about six stalks of celery but the way you want to chop it is put it curved side down so it won't wobble on you when you try to chop and what I like to do is go straight down the middle and then lay it flat and go through that half again and do the same thing with the other side and then you bunch that together and chop it into small squares 